This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. If the spec is the public contract, the body is the itty bitty fine details of the contract that no one ever reads. But just like a paper contract, it's the itty bitty details that are the most important. The body is where the action is. So if I use the SQL Developer Navigator, come over here, we can see where the package spec that I created in the last section is. I can say create body, and that basically creates a stub. You can see that it carried the procedure definitions forward and created null blocks in each. So that's probably the easiest way. Once you have a good spec, just go there, say create body, and it gives you the good starter for your package body. So I'll go ahead and compile this, and we can go look at the Navigator, make sure it compiled good. See, compiled fine. So it doesn't do anything, of course, but it does work as is. Since I was able to cut and paste the spec, technically I can just cut and paste my code from my individual procedures, just like I did for the spec. So I can come here and say, insert. In the first insert, the person calling the procedure passed in an employee rec, and then I just inserted it directly into the employee's table. So let's go ahead and compile that. Again, I compiled fine, no errors. Look at the log. Compiled, no errors. And we can do that for each procedure. The parameterize, the update. And I've actually done that and have it. I'm going to cut and paste in there so I don't have to retype everything because that took a while. I'm going to come to the body. And let's compile that. Okay, so that compiled. So I have my insert for the record. I have my parameterized that then assigned everything to a variable and then the insert. I have my update that has my defaults, it has a case statement in the update, and then the delete just deletes for the primary key. So before when I was testing my procedures, I had uh, individual anonymous blocks to test the insert, to test the update, I've combined those into a single anonymous block. So let's take a look at that. So I declare my employee rec, which is the employee's row type. I initialize my record. And then I call the record-based API. That's not in the package itself, but I'm calling the original procedure. That's this one. Then I have the, where I'm passing in the parameters. Then I have my update, and then I have my delete. Now, if we try to run that, we get an error. Problem is we have two imp inserts. We have one that takes a record and one that takes parameters. You can't do that. That won't work with standalone procedures. If we put this in a package, which we're doing, that will work. It's called overloading. And I'll explain more about overloading, but in a package, you can have the same procedure or function with different parameters, and it will work. So let me go ahead and change this so that I'm calling my package, and I called it employee API. And I'll just go ahead and copy this. So I'm going to call that. I'm going to put it here, put it in front of my update, put it in front of my delete. And we compile that. We're well, not compile it, but actually run the block. And it ran successfully. And all I had to do was, because I kept the procedure names the same, I just had to put the package name in front of it, which was employee API. And that's as simple as it is to create a basic spec, a basic body. You can put additional things in your spec or in the body, package variables, also called global variables. And that's what I'm going to cover next.